Hey, Andrew here. I'd like to teach you today how to find the percent composition of sodium, bromine, and oxygen in NAB, bro. Take a look down below. I think we're going to sell some shirts. Anyway, first step is we're going to find the total mass of this thing, and then we have to find those percents. Take a look. Bam. So the first step is to write the elements we see. So we have sodium, bromine, oxygen. Then is to write down the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So if you don't see a subscript, just put in a one there. So we got one sodium, one bromine, and then we have four oxygens. Then we're simply going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each particular element. And those masses are found on the periodic table. Sodium's mass is 22.99, oxygen is 16, and bromine is 79.90. So let's write that in. 22.99, bromine was 79.90, and oxygen was 16. Then we're simply going to multiply this row on across to find the total mass of that particular element. So the total mass of the sodium here is 22.99. Bromine is 79.90, and oxygen will be 64. And there you have it, right? The total mass of the compound, we now found it. So the next step is to take this total mass and use it to calculate the percents. I'm going to add a column to the table. Take a look. Bam. So to find a mass percent of, let's say, sodium, we're going to take the total mass of that sodium, 22.99, we divide it by then the total mass of the entire compound, 166.89, and multiply that by 100 to get it into percentage terms. That's a simple percent, part over whole times 100, all right? And the percentage here is going to work out to be roughly 13.78%. Uh, all right. And that takes care of sodium. And do the same process for bromine. Take the total mass of the bromine, 79.9, divided by the total mass of the entire compound, multiply that bad boy by 100, and you're going to get 47.88. All right. That's in terms of a percent. Bada bing, bada boom. And last but not least, take the total mass of the oxygen, 64. 64 divided by the total mass of the compound. Multiply that by 100. I don't know what happened to the decimal there, but, you know, 38, 38.35 now percent. And that's all there is to it. What you can, what? What you can do, there you go. What you can do is simply add this column together and it should work out to be 100%. Uh, it might be off by like, let's say 100th, uh, just because of the rounding, but uh, that doesn't really matter as long as you're like very close to the ballpark. And I want this for you on your next test. All right, keep studying, keep working hard. We got thousands of solved solutions out there for you just to help you through your, well, not only chemistry class, but if you're taking physics or mathematics, we've got a whole bunch of other stuff coming out. All right. We really love to help you out. All right. Isn't this fun? Nah, bro. See you soon.